part 6 already. I wonder how many of you are watching this since the beginning. Today, we'll grab a pattern from the functional programming world known as higher order functions and use it to create functions that receive functions and return new functions. But we won't stop there. We won't just return any new functions. We will return new custom type cards. So I'm calling those type guard creation functions higher order guards. As you soon find out, that will open the door for new possibilities of reusing our code. I'm Lucas Paganini, and in this channel, we release web development tutorials. Subscribe if you're interested in that. We also publish our content as articles on our website. You can subscribe to our newsletter and be the first to know when we launch a course, post a video, or write an article. The theoretical description of a higher order function is a tongue twister function that receives a function and returns another function. So, let me show you to you in practice and you will see that it's not as complex as it sounds. Let's say we have a lot of custom type cards and now we want inverted versions of them. We already have is string, now we want is not string. We already have is number, now we want is not number. You get the idea. We did something very similar in the end of our third video, when we wrote a guard for truthy values that works by excluding falsy values. If you've missed it, I'm leaving a link for it in the description. We can apply the same technique to create our inverted type guards. That's how they would look like. But writing those inverted guards manually is tedious and repetitive. I bet you can see a pattern in them. All we need to create an inverted guard is the custom type guard that will be inverted. In other words, the only difference between is not string and is not number is that one is using the is string guard and the other is using the is number guard. Could we stop repeating ourselves and create a function that accepts a type guard as an argument and returns the inverted version of the given type guard? Hell yeah, we can! Let's do that right now. I have a personal convention of prefixing functions with the word make when they return new functions. So it makes sense to me to call our function make is not, since it makes the is not version of a type card. The function implementation alone is already a bit tricky. So I'll navigate it with you before we get into the TypeScript signature. Let's use is not string as an example. Calling make is not with is string returns a function that receives one argument called v and returns the inverted return of calling is string with v. The same works for is not number. Calling make is not with is number returns a function that receives one argument called v and returns the inverted return of calling is number with v. All good and well with the implementation. Now to the type signature of make is not. Oh shit, how am I supposed to explain this? Okay, let's break it down and see what can be simplified. First, there are two places where we are referring to a function that returns a type predicate. In other words, a custom type card. Let's create a type called type card function to isolate that type definition and simplify our code a little bit. It's a little better now, right? Also, even though the naming type card function makes a lot of sense, since it is indeed a type card function, this name is very specific to TypeScript. And it turns out that functions that receive an argument and return a boolean already had a name before TypeScript even existed. Those functions are known as predicate functions. So, let's use the name predicate function instead. Also, not that it repeats, but that part where we are inferring the type of the predicate function is kinda ugly to look at. Let's isolate that in a type. By the way, if you are at a loss with the ternary operator and the infer keyword, I have two videos for you. They are both one minute long. One explains TypeScript conditional types the ternary operator, and the other explains the infer keyword. I'll leave their links in the description. 
I have another personal convention, which is to use the prefix unpack when I am creating a type that infers something. So I'll call it unpack predicate function. Back to the signature. Okay, it's still not simple, but it is simpler. Let's try to analyze the signature now. First, we receive an argument, a predicate function called fn. Then we return a new function. This new function receives an argument called v, which has the same type of the first parameter of fn. And that returns a type predicate saying that v is not of the type guarded by our fn function. There are some limitations to our function. For example, right now, it only works with guards that receive a single argument. And also, it's not tested. If you are interested in having make is not in your code base, and also make is instance, make is included, and a lot more, instead of copying the code from this video, a better way is to just install my TypeScript utilities library. It's open source, has tests, documentation, works on Node and browsers, it's MIT, and you can easily install it with npm install at lucaspaganini slash ts. We'll talk more about the library in the last video. Today's content was pretty advanced. I remember how hard it was for me to learn functional programming and advanced TypeScript notations. So we really did our best with the examples and animations to hopefully give you an easier learning experience than the one I had. I would love to have a feedback from you, so please leave a comment and let us know if you could understand everything and your questions if you have any. References are in the description. If you enjoy the content, you know what to do. And if your company is looking for remote web developers, consider contacting me and my team on lucaspaganini.com. In the next video, we will use our newly found knowledge to create a workaround for a highly requested feature in TypeScript, asynchronous type cards. Subscribe if you don't want to miss it. Until then, have a great day and I will see you in the next one.